Hi everybody, good morning, it's uh, Stephen James here and it's a Wednesday morning and um, today I just want to talk about reflecting back because what I wanted to do was, I think over the last 12 months I've been keeping a diary, um, not consistently every day but you know maybe at least um, two or three times a week. So, and then there was something I've been meaning to do for a while which was to uh, have a, uh, I think J, uh, JJ talks a bit about it, which is to have a wisdom uh, diary. So, and I have a journal and I write in it my purpose, what my values are, and I write down lessons learnt. Um, I do a bit of the stock trading, so I write about that if I've picked up anything and I write it down. And uh, in fact, I'm sorry, yeah, I do, I write it down. And... Um, and then today, I just thought, and I've been writing down, you know, like things like you pick up, like, the, it wasn't, it, this is my journal. This wasn't a, this is my, my journal. And it's not a, a wisdom journal, it's just a journal. So, and I've been writing some of the, the wisdom in here, like, you know, leaders, you need to be a leader, you need to have, uh, to be a leader, you need to be able to do what leaders do, and you need to be able to have what lead, and you'll have what leaders have. So I thought, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the stuff that I've written in here, and I'm going to put it into my wisdom journal and um, so I started to do that this morning uh, it's what I've been doing about half an hour now and I'll uh, and something you realize when you look back on your life you know there's probably 300 pages that I've put together and I'm looking back at the very it's, it's amazing because I'm looking back at the start of my journey in SFM and the things that I was writing down and I always think, you know, we like a, putting a journal together. You're always like, well, I can't be bothered. You know, what's the point? I've got better things to do with my life. And do you know what? It's so powerful. It really is so powerful. I'm reading things in here and I'm like, wow. Do you know? And it's like my mindset was better in the early days than it is now. Okay? And maybe that's through frustrations, etc. And obviously, when I started my SFM journey, I was excited, like you, were, like we all are, when we we start something new, a new journey, a new passion. And it's when you get into the grind that you know that's real kind of test of character. Um, a lot of people will quit when they get into the grind, and the novelty's actually worn off. And I'm just reading some of these things, and I'm like, my God, I am so pleased I kept this journal. I'm transposing things across and there's things in here that I've wrote down about, you know, managing your internal chatter. Little things I've wrote down about, that I've picked up from YouTube channels about Robin, Tony Robbins, how he talks about how when he gets the chatter, what he, do, what he does is he gives it 60 seconds and, and he kind of sits in that chatter for 60 seconds and then he lets it pass by him like a cloud over a pane of glass. And I just want to share that with you. If anybody's not started a diary, you know, I always think a diary is like a girl's thing. You always start of diary. And no one is disrespect to girls, but, you know, it's always young girls. Um, that's my impression, anyway, of people who keep diaries. Young, little, young girls are talking about their experiences. They're writing it down. It's just a, from a school thing. They're, they're talking about the boys that they fancy at school. And it's always seemed a bit of a girly thing to me to do. But when I look back on this, there's some powerful stuff in here that I've written down and you know and so maybe start to keep a journal and write about the lessons that you've learned the prior day and put them down and that's what I'm going to I'm going to start to continue to do this now um, I've stopped writing about the things I've been learning and I was really just focusing on more like my affirmations and things like that which are great but I'm going to focus more rather than writing my affirmations and my values and my purpose every day to reinforce those which I think is important I'm going to start to just write about general stuff in my book about things that I've learned uh, because I think that's more powerful. So just wanted to share that with you. And uh, yeah, so I'm developing my wisdom. Wis this is my wisdom journal and uh, I've already started to put some things in here. Let me see if I can pick anything out uh, particularly. One is about you know being careful of the labels that we put on ourselves and the stories that we tell ourselves Choose your words wisely, yeah? Start the day. You know, when people ask you, how's your day been? Most people go, yeah, not too bad. 
<laughs> um, you know, I think Zig Ziglar talks about in his, he says, um, uh, better, uh, I can't, better than ever or something like that, Zig Ziglar would say, or I'm fantastic, how are you? Yeah? Um, confidence, this is a good one. You know, sometimes we all don't feel confident, but confidence can come from just by, by, by the way we act. So, for example, when you walk into a room, own it. Yeah? Own it and be confident. And even though you don't, might not feel confident, you know, when you walk into the room, you set your mindset and you think about it. So, like, for example, when you go into maybe a momentum day or a seminar or an event, I find myself when I go to these things, I'm like shy, not shy away, but, you know, I'm just like, I'm, sometimes I don't want to go up to people and talk to people. I can't be bothered, even being honest with you, yeah? Or I'm like, and I feel outside my comfort zone. Instead, you know, just go up to people and talk to people. Hi, I'm Stephen James. What's your story? Yeah? What brings you here? So those are some amazing things. Here, Stuart Ross talks about. These are all things I've took out of my journal over the last 12 months that I've not been thinking about. Is only when you, he says here, only when you hit 10,000 subscribers does the momentum kick in. I've got 9,000 to go. Some amazing things. You know, things with, you know, your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. The quality of your thoughts equals the quality of your mind. Yeah? Success comes down to your own ability to stop your inner chatter. So those are just a few things. So can you see how powerful that is by, you know, having a journal and writing things down? Yeah, which I've been doing over the last 12 months. And I didn't even know, this is like a gold mine. And then, you know, then being able to transpose that into my wisdom journal. Being able to, uh, being able to give that to my son when he's older. That's So that is so powerful. So, you know, please, you know, start creating a journal. And, and, and I'm sure it'll have massive impact on your life. So anyway, that's my update for today. You know, uh, take care, have a great day and uh, live life with passion. And, um, you know, just, just go out there and rock it. All right, you take care. Bye-bye.